discussion on ISA REACT 5 trial comparing ticagrelor and placigrel in acute coronary syndrome. ISA REACT 5 trial was a multi-center study which randomized patients who presented with acute coronary syndrome for whom an invasive strategy was planned to either ticagrelor or placigrel. It was an open label trial. Primary endpoint was a composite of death, myocardial infarction, or stroke at one year. Please subscribe to this channel for future updates. Click on the subscribe button. Press the bell icon after that for all updates. A major secondary safety endpoint was bleeding. This was an investigator initiated trial funded by German Center for Cardiovascular Research and German Heart Center Munich. 4,018 patients were randomized in the study. Primary composite endpoint occurred in 9.3% in the ticagrelor group and 6.9% in the prasugrel group. Mortality was 4.5% in ticagrelor group and 3.7% in the prasugrel group. Definite stent thrombosis occurred in 1.1% in the ticagrelor group and 0.6% in the prasugrel group. Major bleeding occurred in 5.4% of patients in the ticagrelor group and 4.8% in prasugrel group. Others of the study concluded that in acute coronary syndrome with or without ST segment elevation, the composite endpoint of death, myocardial infarction or stroke was significantly lower among those who received prasugrel than those who received ticagrelor. Incidence of major bleeding was similar in the two groups. Both ticagrelor and prasugrel have been shown to be superior to clopidogrel in earlier randomized trials in acute coronary syndrome. But prasugrel use was only in those scheduled for percutaneous coronary intervention and it had a higher bleeding risk. Prasugrel was given only after the coronary anatomy was known and PCI planned. A previous meta-analysis had shown that ticagrelor inhibits platelet reactivity more than prasugrel. Ticagrelor inhibits cell uptake of adenosine. Hence, it can increase adenosine-mediated coronary blood flow velocity and dyspnea. While the latter is an adverse effect of ticagrelor, former is beneficial. These effects can be attenuated by theophylline. Because of the beneficial effect of adenosine, which is a pleiotropic effect, and higher inhibition of platelet reactivity by ticagrelor, one would have expected ticagrelor to perform better. On the contrary, in ISA REACT 5 trial, prasugrel performed better. Patients with history of stroke, transient ischemic attack or intracranial hemorrhage were excluded from the study as has been the usual practice when prasugrel is given. Here are the first set of journal references. Second set of journal references are here. Please don't forget to subscribe to this channel for future updates and click on the bell icon for all updates. Thank you.